Welcome to Cryptonomics. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the daily updates from the crypto space and press the bell icon to never miss a video update. Here are the top 5 crypto news for the day. Let's dive into the news headlines one by one and see how they'll be affecting the crypto space as we know it in the coming days. Regulators in UK and Japan issue a warning to Binance. Top financial regulators in the UK and Japan have issued a warning to Binance for providing cryptocurrency exchange services to citizens of the two countries without being registered with the agencies as required by law. Also, Binance has stated that it would no longer provide services to Ontario residents. As demands rise, CME Micro Bitcoin futures reach 1M contracts. The Chicago-based company CME Group has witnessed an expansion of its Micro Bitcoin futures reach, which were launched in early May this year. The second quarter saw a rise in institutional exposure to cryptocurrencies via futures, with CME Group's newly launched Bitcoin BTC, micro contracts experiencing a large rise in trading activity in its first two months. Cardano ADA adds 50k new staking addresses in three weeks. Cardano has added 50,000 new staking addresses, which indicates an increase of 8% since the beginning of June. This influx of new investments has brought the total number of staking addresses to 662,000 and the total count of active mining pools to 2,647. Billionaire aims to establish Mexico's first Bitcoin accepting bank. Despite the decreasing prices of Bitcoin, Mexican billionaire Ricardo Salinas Pliego remains optimistic about the world's largest cryptocurrency and aims to establish Mexico's first Bitcoin accepting bank. Salinas tweeted that the bank he founded, Banco Azteca, will be the first in the nation to accept Bitcoin. DeFi platform Balanced announces updates including first DAO vote. In a new update titled Geometry Release, DeFi platform Balanced has published a new set of price charts, a statistics page, and its transaction history. More importantly, the platform has disclosed its first DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, vote to distribute more than $1 million generated from network fees to balance token bound holders and the DAO fund. Follow Cryptonomics for more such updates.